Hello everybody, here I'm just teaching you some more things in PHP, so I'm just opening the notepad plus plus and that is just some old work obviously. You already knew about the conditional operator, which is actually the equal to operator. Here I'm just using some other things. Now, one thing more, what if I just make the uh, some more variables here, like the var 3 and the value I'm putting as in a string. For example, I'm just typing my name, Shazaib, or some, uh, yeah, Shazaib, that's perfect. And here I'm just typing another variable, and here I'm just typing var4, and the value should be, um, what I should type here, Acer. Okay, my LCD actually is made by Acer, so <laughs> I'm just typing Acer, <laughs> no matter here. What? The thing I just want to do is the world 3 and world 4. Let us save and go to the browser back. Refresh it. We are getting nothing. It means that Shazab and Acer are not matching. Obviously, Acer is a big company and Shazab is a little teacher, <laughs> by the way. The thing is that the text is not matching, obviously. We can also check, the, check and compare the strings as well. So, what if I just type Shazaib again here. Shazaib. Okay. Well, in simple Urdu, in Pakistan language, my name is Shahzaib, not Shazaib, but in American accent, in, in actually the Eastern action or Western actions, uh, accents, I have to say Shazaib. <laughs> now, this is 5 is equal to 5. I don't know why the 5 is visible. There should be. Var3 and Var4. Obviously, the Var3 and Var4 is equal to each other. Shazib is equal to Shazib. Okay, no problem. There isn't any problem of accent as well. What I'm gonna do is... So... Here, I got the perfect thing. The other thing is... Now, I am just typing 5 and here I'm just typing 6. The thing is that the both or, I think... I should make some more variables instead of them. Now here I'm just going to type some more thing. Var5 is equals to 5. Okay, perfect. Now the var6 should be 6. No problem. The thing is that I'm just checking and comparing them. Var5 equal to var6. So now what will happen? Here I'm just typing var5 and var6. The new thing is actually I'm just using some strings. Obviously, as you know that we can plus and minus and multiply the simple uh, integers and whole number decimals or floating points or whatever. But we cannot um, multiply or plus and actually we can't apply any type of arithmetic operations with the simple strings. So what will happen here? Obviously, when I just refresh it, I'm getting nothing and actually... The comparing operators, the conditional operators can work and actually can compare the text or actually the strings as well. The 5 is not equal to 6, obviously, however it is in a string, obviously. This is not in the condition to get any plus value or any minus value, but obviously it can be compared. But what if I just type 5? Now let's just go to the browser and refresh it now. 5 is equals to 5, it means we are getting the result. But the thing is that, if I just simply change the data type, I'm just typing 6, okay? Now, the data type of 5 is a string and the data type of 6 is not a string, actually that is an integer. I'm just refreshing it, now again I'm getting nothing. I'm just typing 5, now the value of var5 is 5 and the value of var6 is integer 6, oh sorry, integer 5. Now I'm just going to the browser and refreshing it now. 5 is equals to 5. The both sides has 5. It means the var 6 and var 5. So the thing is that this is comparing that the value are same but actually this is not checking that the data type is also same or no. So if you just want to check the data type as well so let's just put some more things. The strict, uh, strict is equals to. That means if you just put three equal signs okay if we just put three equal signs it will check and compare the data 
and the data type as well so now if I just save it and go to the browser by refreshing it now I'm getting nothing just because 5 is equals to uh, sorry where 5 is equals to is not equal to var 6 just why just because this is 5 and this is 5 but the value of the data type of both are different okay this is a string and this is the simple integer so if I just put 3 equal signs it will get the data type as well and if you just put two it will only check the data not the data type so what if I just choose same data type and use the three equal signs everything is fine actually it will show the same the same result like we just did in the two with, with the two equal signs but what new it is just a strict. Obviously, it will check the data type as well. If the data type won't match, it won't give you the result. I hope you understood how to do this. Now, some more things. If the thing is that I'm just adding some B ORs here, that is really important because this thing can mess up all the things. So now, here I'm just typing if in. I'm just putting here in this var five or whatever var. 5 mm, equal to var 6 perfect here the echo what I just want to get as the echo I'm just copying all the statement echo statements and pasting here but is not equal to the thing is that if you just want to know that var 5 or actually you just want to get the result on the base of the false statement the false result actually when the var5 and var6 won't have the same result or the same data type now we got we will get the this echo result or actually this statement this if statement so what is the sign just simply remove the first equal sign and just put the exclamatory sign okay the exclamatory sign and the equal sign actually becomes the not equal sign okay now obviously what we have to do and actually what if needs to do a true or a false statement okay then inside these parentheses the if got the false result or actually false obviously the false result then it will it won't show these curly braces okay but if this if get the true result it will show these brackets and obviously the var5 and var6 are not matching actually they're matching so now I'm just removing this changing this something okay now that is 5 and that is 4 okay that is 5 and this is 4 so the thing is that actually the var5 and var6 is not matching and not equal to and according to this operator the condition is true obviously we just said that the var5 and var6 should not be equal to not equal to okay so that's why this echo will be shown in the browser just refresh it now 5 and 5 is not equal to 4 okay that is perfect I have been restored in the not equal to sign and now obviously if I just put two equal signs and one exclamatory sign now this becomes the strict with data types not equal to sign operator here if I just if I just type uh, for and actually I'm just putting the I'm just doing the same thing and saving it and obviously refreshing it now I'm getting the result as well obviously now this statement is true obviously by the data type and by the values it is not same if I just type 5 and I, I'm just saving it and going to the browser and refreshing it now it's still 5 is not equal to 5 and why this statement is showing here in the browser just because the data type of this 5 and this 5 is different okay by restricting we are just getting the data types as well so I have understood this as well there are some more things on the conditional operators we will learn in next class goodbye and stay tuned